what's up, beautiful people? This is Samson uh, from the Space Economy, your destination for the business space. And because I have to hear George's rant about deep tech and VCs, you too have to hear George's rant about deep tech and VCs. So, George, sure. you're in shadow, by the way, so you're anonymous because no one can see you because your lighting is back. Should we change my voice? Yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> no, but seriously. So, if you're a VC, you went out and you had to hustle and raise money just like these astropreneurs have to do, which is a person in the space economy who's an entrepreneur. You're an mm -hmm. astropreneur. And if that's you and you're that VC, you had to go out and hustle for money. So you went out and talked to people that actually have money, family offices, endowments, and the like, right? You're actually just managing their money for them to make your 2 and 20. Now, with that being the case, part of your IPS, your investment policy statement, or your mission statement, or whatever you use to regale and show that you knew what you were doing, uh, you know, because prior returns don't reflect future performance, um, <clears throat> you told them something probably about how you're gonna do something with deep tech, right? So hard tech, things that are gonna change the world. And once you start looking around for things that are gonna change the world, eventually you're probably gonna end up in our corner of the world, which is off this world, the space economy. So, you start realizing that you need to have an investment or two in the space economy. Once you realize that, what is your sorting process? Because to me, I don't see it. I don't know what you guys are looking at. Um, I mean this respectfully, so you know, slide to my DMs, we can talk about it, but there's already a great sorting hat, right? You already know who is winning NSF contracts, who is winning SBIR, STTR awards from NASA, from Space Force, from DOD, and other you know areas and operations. But as far as I can tell, there's no there's no correlation there, right? So Milky economy, right? That's just <laughs> that's just our money. I'm pointing at Sam over there. We put our skin in the game with six or eight. Well, anyway, <clears throat> depending on how you count, you know the uh, technologies that are adjacent to space space companies now, right? But I don't see the follow-on dollars. Now, is it just the economic conditions we're in? Is that what's going on? Or is it that the VCs don't know how to actually source deals in the space economy? I think it might be the second one. Hey, we're back. So I'm gonna emotionally translate for everybody. George says that all the, S, all the VCs, the other nine who are actually writing checks in the space economy got wiped out because of SBV. And as a result, it's a true statement, you know what it is. Yeah, yeah. And as a result, the investment in space is down 50% across the board in 2023. It's probably down more because not only did SBV go away, also uh, Virgin Orbit also went away. Uh, and so now when they're when the VCs are looking at this deep tech, this amazing tech, this Star Trek tech, they don't have a way of triaging it to actually know, does this uh, electromagnetic high intensity plasma shielding, what the hell is that? We have no way to do that. So what he wants you to do is go see what NASA, who NASA awarded some an award to, for whatever amazing tech, and then do a follow-on investment. Ta-da! Is that it? Yeah, that's a quicker version. Yeah. Okay. So listen to him. See you guys in orbit, in here in Albuquerque. Peace. Welcome to the space economy, your destination for the business of space.